Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Tesla and the Gong. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to view your dash cam and sentry mode videos on your iPhone. Go to the Apple App Store and download Sentry View app. This is a paid app. And full disclosure, I did pay for this app to make this video. The second app you would need is called Connect Drive app. This is made by SanDisk. And you would need a SanDisk Connect Wi-Fi enabled USB drive. And I'm going to show you how to set it up from scratch. Step 1. Press and hold the power button on the side of the USB stick and wait for the light to flash on the face of the USB stick like so. The next step is to open the SanDisk Connect app, read the end user license agreement and accept it. Then go into settings and go into Wi-Fi. Your SanDisk Connect Wi-Fi should appear here. Click on that and once connected, go back into the app and you should have a successful connection at this time. Once you get to the main menu, click on the hamburger button which will open a side card. Go into settings and go into change drive name. You can name this anything you want for easy access. I think Tesla would sound good. Now go into set password and then key in an appropriate password here and then exit the app. Next step is to fire up Sentry View and on this setup window, you'll be entering your USB keys, network name and password. So mine is Tesla and I'll enter the password and then you hit on save. When you click on the back button, you should see this dialog box. Click on join and then the app will read from your USB device. As I set this up from scratch, my USB drive is empty. I will now show you how to format the drive and get it ready to enable Tesla dash cam. I have made a separate detailed tutorial on how to set this up. This is just a quick version of the same. Plug in your USB device. Open disk utility app. Select your USB device from the side menu. Click on erase. From the format drop down menu, choose MS-DOS FAT. And if a sub menu presents itself, choose master boot record. You can now change the name of the USB drive. I've changed it to Tesla and then click on erase. And once the USB drive formats, go into finder and choose your USB drive from the side menu again. Now create a new folder and label that Tesla cam. No space in between. T and C will be capitals. Tesla cam, just like so. And then you can eject your USB drive from the finder. Please refer to my other video of how to activate and eject the USB drive from your Tesla. When you have a few videos that you want to watch, connect back to the USB drive. You will have date and time stamped videos. You can actually swivel to the time that you want to watch and click on play. The front cam and the two side cam videos are presented like so. Because they are timestamped, all three videos are always in sync, as you can see here. But by far, the coolest feature of this app is the way you can use the scrub bar at the bottom to go forward or reverse in time to choose a particular point that you want to watch again. If there's an event you're trying to search for, this feature is absolutely amazing. Now that's all folks. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like what I'm doing, please do subscribe to my channel and click on that bell icon to see my videos right away. If you're looking to buy a Tesla Model X, Model S or a Model 3, please do use a Tesla referral code to get 1,500 kilometers of free supercharger credit. My referral code is in the description of this video. You can also visit ozevchampions.io for other Australian referral codes. I'll see you all in another interesting video or tutorial very soon. Until then, this is Tesla in the Gong, signing off. Peace.